Mo, what's going on, man? Chilling, dog. Chilling, chilling. Thanks for coming on the show, man. We appreciate it. Thanks for having me, dog. All right, let's get right into this. Um, you know, what do you got going on for your next fight, man? There's some rumors floating around that you may return to Sengoku in November against Kevin Randleman. Are these rumors true? And if so, what are your first reactions to that fight? Man, you know what the funny thing is? I thought Randleman, you know what I'm saying, would be my first fight ever. I was telling people that, like, years ago. I probably ended up fighting Randleman for my first fight. But I'm not sure if that fight's going to happen now because, um, you know, things popped up, my, you know, um, with other other organizations, and right now we're just waiting to see because things in Japan move slow, so nothing's ever for sure, you know what I'm saying, in Japan. And then the other organizations talking to me, and we're just going to take the best offer. I'm still a free agent as of now. All right, cool. Evan, go ahead. All right, King Mo, uh, you're, you're becoming one of my favorite fighters, so I just first I want to say thanks uh, for coming on the show. Um, just wanted to ask you, there's kind of a, a Internet video that kind of exploded uh, between you, uh, like a kind of heated argument between you and Rampage. How did that start, and is there still some bad blood between you and Rampage Jackson? Well, the thing with me and Rampage started, I met Rampage with Antonio McKee at the Jeremiah Metcalf Andre Galval fight in Orange County like about a year ago. And uh, Antonio was like, you got to meet my boy Rampage. And I was like, all right, I'll meet, I'll meet him because Joe Harris, you know, told me about him. Me and Joe are boys. So I met him, and he was being cool. And as the camera came around, and the dudes started acting weird. So he tried to get in my face and try to, like, intimidate me, but it wasn't working. I was just laughing at him. I thought it was a joke. So time passed. I see him, like, a year later or so in uh, in Ohio. And, uh you know, he's like, what's up? You know, I'm like, what's up, dog? Good luck in your fight. Get started in. It's just, you know, brief talk. And then I meet him again, like, week, weeks after that in Oklahoma City because uh, my boy is fighting on his car and Rampage is making an appearance. So, you know, Gerald Harris calls me. He's like, hey, Mo, Rampage is going to be in town. I need your help. I was like, don't worry. I'll be there. I was like, tell me what you need. And he's like, well, uh, Rampage is going to be in town, and I want to show him a good time in Oklahoma City. So, you know, I got, you know, I got pulled in certain cities and certain states. So I called my homeboy up. I'm like, look, man, Rampage Jackson's going to be in town. So y'all need, to get, y'all need to get on. He likes Asian girls, this and that. Get on MySpace, <laughs> Facebook, Adult Friend Finder, Passions.com, whatever, and get some females for him. Match.com, I don't care. So, you know, we, you know they, they, they do what they can do. They get in there. Then my boy's like, hey, we need money because we, we got a limo. We got a VIP table at the spot. So I kicked him the money. I gave him money so Rampage can have a good time. And, he gets there, he's acting all weird, like being stuck up towards people and acting, you know, acting like an asshole, to be real with you. And my boys are there from Dallas. We're all there, and they're like, they're like, fuck Rampage. He's, he's man, he's a punk. You know, he's kind of stuck up. And I'm like, y'all just give him a space, this and that. Don't worry about it. And he, he talks to me like, yeah, hey, hey, you know, it's kind of cool out here. You from here? I'm like, no, nah, I'm from Texas. We talk briefly. Then I see him um, in the, um, in Vegas because we're doing autograph an autograph signing. You know, where, I don't know which one, is, which you'll see it was, but the one where the other fight, Rashad, we're at Walmart doing an autograph signing, and uh, we're being cool, you know, he's, we're talking about each other, laughing, and this girl comes up to me and asks me if I'm Rampage. I'm like, no, I'll go back to Rampage, I'm like, Rampage. <laughs> and people think we look alike. And he's like, I'm like I think we're both bald and black. And he's like, <laughs> I look better than you. And I was like, no, and we're coming. So I'm like, if you think you look better, then why don't you ask the females who look better? So he goes ahead and asks the females who look better, and they chose me. They picked King Mo. <laughs> so we're both laughing, you know. And the next time I see him, I see him again. You're going to see one hundred again, you know what I'm saying? And this time he takes a different approach. He walks in, and I'm just trying to autograph at the ex- expo, and he's like, hey, people, stop, stop, stop. Who looks better? Me or King Mo? And they're like, you know, yeah, you do, Rampage. We don't know who King Mo is. And they're like, Who's a better fighter, me or King Mo? And I'm like, hold up, man, we can't go to the better fighter. You know, that's disrespectful. You know, I, I'm not just sit there and be like, you're a better fighter than me, Rampage. I'm a competitor in my down, so that's disrespectful. So I was like, you ain't a better fighter until you beat me. That's what I told him. Stop they fight. And then, like, you know, I walked off, and then the next day he signed an autograph. So I wrote down Bum Page. I should have paid him where he signed an autograph set. And, you know, it's a little joke, but I guess he, he took it to heart, and, uh, you know, he goes in this van where we're all supposed to meet up at, and he's, he has a, a camera dude filming. He's talking noise about me, and I walk in, and 
he said talking noise about me, you know what I'm saying? And I didn't even know the films, the, you know, the camera was rolling. And I sit there and we just kind of get in a little argument. Jeez. That's, that's true. That's really it. I have no problem with Rampage. You know, he wants to act and make money. Go ahead, act and make money. You know what I'm saying? I have no, I have no beef with Rampage no more. I just think the whole thing was, was silly. But, you know, I, I don't know. I would rather fight him to provide an opportunity. But, you know, he's doing acting, so. Wow. Yeah, it's serious. <laughs> yeah, it does. It does sound like a, a very serious situation right there. Well, it's, uh, it's, it's not, it wasn't a serious deal. It's just that, man, he, he's kind of childish. I think that maybe he was intimidated by me being an up and comer. And people say we're similar, but we're we're far from different. I'm more, you know, I I'll joke with you, but he likes to joke just to not seem, you know, I'm confident in myself and and I give you confidence. But he he likes to be the 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 focus of all attention and be the big dog and try to make sure everybody knows he's in the building. And, you know, I think he was intimidated me by me because I went to Japan. I had a, you know, I was up and coming, you know what I'm saying? And and and, I, and I'm kind of brash like he was. So we're just way different. I feel like I was, I'm a little bit more respectful than he is, you know, and more and more and more, you know, I have, I have more skill in a way, you know. Not that he's tough, but he's an MMA George Foreman. I'm, I have world-class skill in wrestling, and I'm, and I'm still learning. You know, we're way different. We're not the same. Okay. Definitely, definitely. Uh, that just answers my next question right there. Ah, uh, man. All right. So, Mo, uh, quick question. Um, what do you think about this whole Rampage uh, retirement talk? Do you think he's really uh, going to retire, or do, do you even care at that? Well, really, I don't care, but my answer is, yeah, he's retired for now. Everybody's retired up until they miss the spotlight. Up until they're like, man, this guy's a champ. I'm gonna go back and prove myself. Cause that's what happens in boxing. People retire. And I was like, oh, you know what, man, this dude's a champ. Man, I'm gonna go out there and prove myself. Show him I'm still, I'm still a dog. He's gonna come back and probably for a super, few super fights here and there. He's gonna, like, you know, come back and he try to establish, you know, show that he's dominant still or still relevant. Cause in, a, in a, another year and a half, he'll be forgotten about. Unless the movies are blowing up, and then he could come back and try to get back in the fight game. Okay. Yeah, I think we can all agree that uh, Rampage is not going to stay retired forever. But uh, another question, go back to your career. Uh, you've kind of been flip-flopping from heavyweight to light heavyweight. And uh, what do you feel better at physically, and what do you see being your primary weight class in the future? That's a good question. I, I wish I could answer that because people might say I'm undersized at heavyweight, which I might be, but I feel like I have the school, the, the proper skill set to beat heavyweights. You know, because when it comes down to it, what they ain't can out wrestle me, and I can I can take them down. They're slower than me. I have an 80 inch reach. You know what I'm saying? And, and and I'm strong. You know what I'm saying? I have cardio. I have good footwork. I feel like I can fight at heavyweights. And then uh, at 205, same thing. I, I have the tools to to be a good 205 pounder, and, and even 185, if I need to make 185, I can make 185. I made 184.8 last year at the Olympic trials. So uh, I'm just going to play it by ear, see, you know, see what, you know, what the organizations say, and that's where I'll go. 